am here with Laura Frakon. She is the mastermind behind this fantastic event here tonight. So talk to me a little bit about Vert Lux, the cause and the purpose of it. So Vert Lux is an eco-conscious lifestyle platform that I developed out of what I feel is a need for people to have one place to go where they can find eco-conscious, ethical, sustainable products, beauty products, fashion, lifestyle, home, and wedding and it can all be in one place. So I reached out to, I've been reaching out to all these vendors, been doing research for years, and I bring these people that I feel are like-minded, uh -huh. bring them together in one common marketplace and, and area for people to come and shop and learn and just start living a more eco-sustainable lifestyle. Let's talk a little bit about eco-sustainable because I feel like sometimes there's like a little bit of a stigma behind that and the quality behind products that are either vegan or eco-friendly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So how are you breaking that stereotype? So my name, or the, the company name is Vert Lux and it means green luxury. My, the point to that name is that you don't ever have to sacrifice luxurious goods for, and be, for your values. So everything here, and you'll see when you walk around, they're all true high luxury products. They've been hand woven. They're using piece silk. Everything's hand painted, handmade. How can that not be luxurious, right? So you have, I, I make sure that people get out of that mindset that it's not hemp sandals and patchouli, even though I love hemp sandals and patchouli, but it's everything. There's so many other things out there that are luxurious and are ethical and eco-conscious that can feel good and, you know, you're, you're not wearing a hemp sandal all the time. So. Right, and I want to talk about what's benefiting this night because we have behind us a sign, Global Trunk, and of course some of the products, yeah. but talk to me about the mission of Global Trunk. Okay, so I was so lucky to meet the global, the owner of the Global Trunk Foundation when I actually came here to research doing this event here. Um, the Global Trunk is a foundation that goes to Guatemala and educates and helps to support indigenous families in Guatemala, the artisans and their children, and helps to provide a living wage and educate them by teaching them how to sew, how to weave, how to use what's of their land to make these brilliant products, and then they are paying them a fair wage while doing so. So we're raising money to help the people of the Global Trunk go back to Guatemala for, take all of those resources and put them back into the communities. So something that I failed to mention to you guys at home is that Laura is a nominated, excuse me, uh, I don't want to say Emmy, yes, Emmy nominated costume designer. Now you could easily just hop onto social media, use your platform there, talk to celebrities and promote the cause here. Why was it important for you to get down and gritty and get really involved in this? Well, I have to say that from working in the fashion industry for as long as I have, it is really eye-opening and, and very disheartening sometimes when I'm working on projects just to see what the environmental effects are, what's happening out there and the fashion industry it is up for debate but right now the going standard is that it's the second most polluting industry in the world now that number two is up for debate but it is one of the most and so for me to see it day in and day out working on these sets working in fashion, I just was like, I have got to make a change. I've been an environmentalist for as long as I can remember. I grew up on a, an orchard in Pennsylvania. And for me, it's all about you. If you want to have a passion for something, you get in there and you do the work yourself and make it happen. So yeah, that's why.